Okay, we're going to take a look at setting up some tools. Uh, we've set them up in the past. Uh, I just want to go through and show how to set up an LTE network and then use some of the tools that I've talked about in the past against um, or with that LTE network. So in this case, we're going to take a look at SRS LTE and then we're going to use Falcon against it. Uh, I've got two laptops set up here. One's booted up uh, from a USB stick running live. One is uh, Dragon OS um, 10. Uh, Focal 10 installed, and I've got um, a Blade XA4, a B205 Mini, and a Lime SDR that's going to make all this happen. All right, so it's going to be kind of quick. I'll make sure I try to touch on everything. Um, so first, uh, you know, SRS LTE, you can see, create your own mobile network. Uh, it's got an uh, awesome page, wealth of knowledge with that. And then uh, Falcon, which all of this is built into Dragon OS, fast analysis of LTE control channels. I don't have a real phone here. The One of the SDRs is going to act as the phone, but we're still going to decode that uh, downlink channel of the base station, and then we'll um, look and see, you know, the, in this case, it's the, going to be the SDR that's a user on there with the temporary identifier, and then we'll look at uh, seeing if we can see some individual resource allocations that are being used. All right. So I'm going to switch over to the other machine, and let's see, we need to, this is going to have the Blade RF, which for some reason, um, okay, for some reason, um, doesn't work so well for me, at least in the handset configuration uh, or the UE. So we're going to run this in the, uh, as the E node B. So we'll start up the EPC first. Take a look. Uh, let's see. We should. We'll see the IP address here in a second. Um, let's see. We need to. So we're going to use that command dash dash RF uh, device name, and I'm going to specify the blade RF. I've also went into the, which I could have did in the, probably in the command here, but I went into the SRS, or the ETC SRS. ENB comp file and I've went down and set the GUI to the true which I don't think I've done in past videos so we should get a GUI that pops up when we run this. So this is going to set up the enode B with the uh, blade RF and I've got the GUI here yeah, we can see some other information. I'm not going to see a whole lot until I get uh, connected to it. And so we've got that up and running. And then we'll switch over to uh, back to the other machine. And this is going to act as the uh, the UE. You could also go in and edit the um, let's see, SRS LTE UE. Should also have mention of the graphical GUI in here. You can come down. You can turn that to true. Save that. I'm not going to really do anything else on this side because it is a B205 Mini. So for the most part, it really is just using sudo and then starting up the UE here. And so this is the B205 Mini. It finds the cell. for it to attach. All right, so I um uh, Unplugged and uh, plugged back in the B205 Mini, so that's why you see the skip uh, there. But uh, let's see, so 
I've got a good connection. I'm back both. I'm going to ping. Okay, so I'm pinging uh, from the base station to the handset here. Let's see. See, so I'm pinging. Okay. Pinging both ways now. All right. Now let's go ahead and it's kind of cramped here. We will get the line SDR mini plugged in so you see the. Uh, uh, Let's see, hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Okay, all right. So now I've got the Lime SDR Mini plugged in. We're pinging both ways. Let's go open Falcon. And so if it's the first time you've set it up, you won't have all the uh, tiles open. You can open them here and then you can click tile. You also want to unclick the use file as source. And I had already preset because I know that uh, the earth's in here uh, for the downlink, the 3350 there. Look that up online. It converts to 2680 as far as megahertz. Uncheck the use file as source. And then we'll go ahead and start this. So we should be looking at that specific frequency. Let's see what we get here. All right, so we're getting some. Activity here and let's see there we go so now now we can see the RNTI of the UE that's connected in this case the B205 mini that's acting as the handset we can see we've got some un uplink and downlink activity and then we can you know the bottom right there has got the allocations so this just goes to show you how you can uh, create a little setup your yourself here I don't know of any uh, obviously nothing else is uh, connecting so that might be just uh, something there with that RNTI um, coming up another thing there but uh, yeah so that's kind of how you can set up a little lab and use all the tools there to learn more about uh, SRS LTE and just uh, you know looking at a uh, from the perspective of Falcon. Uh, yeah, so really that's all I kind of wanted to do is just show how to get that set up with multiple different SDRs here, and then you can look up and find more uh, information about what Falcon does. And there you go, you're just doing it on a uh, closed uh, network that uh, you have control over. All right, thank you.